I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graph. We will now discuss how to graph polynomial functions. We have taken up three questions here to understand some concepts. Question number one is sketch graph of y equals to 0 0.5 times x minus 2 whole cube minus 4. Question two sketch a graph with following characteristics. Graph has three x-intercepts. It is an odd function with degree 5 polynomial. As x approaches minus infinity, y approaches positive infinity. The point 1, 6 is on the function. And question number 3 is to find the equation of degree 9 polynomial from the given graph. Now in this particular graph, we have zeros at minus 3, minus 2, 0 and 1 you have to find degree 9 equation. So you can actually pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Here is how we are going to do that. Question number one, we need to sketch graph of a cubic function which has been uh, transformed. So I'll sketch the graph here and describe the steps on the left side. So we have, since it has moved 4 units down, I'll keep my x-axis slightly above. So let this be the coordinate plane. So most of my sketches are kind of rough. Uh, you can always graph on a proper graph paper to get accurate results. So what we have here is a function which is vertically compressed by a factor of half, right? 0 0.5 is kind of half x minus 2 to the power of cubes. So its basic function is a cubic function. Translated 2 units right and 4 units down. Right. So that is what the transformation is. So let's write down the transformation for this. Uh, then we can very easily sketch uh, the particular function. And also we will consider the transform points. So vertically compressed by factor of half and here we have horizontally translated two units right and this is four units down. We can say vertically translated. Four units down. All this we are doing the parent function here is, so main function f of x is x cube. When all this happens, the transformation of points is kind of like this. The original point x, y will now become the x value will get added by 2. So we'll have x plus 2. That is the transformation of the points. For the y value, you can do half of y value and then take away 4. Right. So that is the translation. Sometimes we also prefer to take important points into consideration and then sketch the graph. So we follow the method of five points. So what we will do here is uh, we kind of write down uh, the five points of our interest, which original function points and the transform points, let's say x, t, y, t. So uh, let me also sketch the graph of cubic function approximately and then we'll work on that. Let's say this is the this is the cubic function we are interested in. This is our parent function, right? So in this particular function, uh, the critical points will be, uh, let's say these are the three points which we are going to work on. So minus 1 cube is minus 1, 0, 0, and uh, 1, 1. 
Now, if you apply this transformation, what we get here is that this prime moves to, if I substitute minus 1 here, we get plus, uh, plus 1, right? So minus 1 plus 2 gives us plus 1. The y value, negative 0.5, I write negative 4.5. For 0, 0, the value goes to 2, and um, this becomes negative 4. And for 1, it becomes 3. And um, uh, the y value becomes uh, half of this, take away. So, so when you take... Mm, so you get minus 3.5. Okay. Let me write decimal values. The end behavior, as you can see, is from one infinity the, to the other. Since there are no reflections, end behavior will be as shown here, right? So you could you could say when x approaches when x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity, which remains kind of same these values since there is no reflection and also when x approaches minus infinity y approaches minus infinity okay so that gives you kind of five points so that's one way you can just plot these points and sketch so if you do that we have the center moving to 2 minus 4 so let's say this is this is 1 this is 2 then the center moves to 2, minus 4, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, kind of here. So that's the center point. And this point goes to 1, minus, let's say here, and the third point goes slightly above, right? So that is how the graph will look like. And you can now sketch this graph as... So this is the important part, a curve here. So that becomes the function half of x minus 2 whole cube minus 4, where you could label these three points. So I hope you get the point, right? So, so that is how uh, you could actually sketch the curve as shown, more or less. So the sketches are kind of uh, rough, but fairly accurate to understand the concept. That's the whole idea. So I hope this part is clear. Now let's move on to question number two. Question number two, sketch a graph with following characteristics. Graph has three x intercepts. So uh, let's again draw make the coordinates. So the graph has three x intercepts. Okay. So let's keep one right in the center, uh, one let's say here and the other one. Okay. The graph has three x intercepts. It is an odd function. Now, now we have odd function. What does that mean? Odd function means it is symmetric about origin. So fortunately, we took these two points which are very symmetric about origin, so that should work, right? So this is your origin. Okay, now as x approaches minus infinity, y approaches positive infinity. So as x approaches negatively large value, y approaches positively large value. So that means the behavior is kind of like this. So this is what we mean by as x approaches minus infinity, y approaches positive infinity. Now since it is a degree 5 polynomial, so it will go to the opposite end. So the other end will actually land here, right? So we get this concept uh, from, let me write down here. Degree 5 means as far as the end behavior is concerned,
it is on opposite ends. That is to say, when x approaches, we are given minus infinity, y approaches positive infinity. So that means when x approaches positive infinity, y should approach negative infinity. You get the idea, right? So, so this part is defined by these two statements. Right, so these two statements gives you that part. Now let's look into another condition which is given to us, which is the point 1, 6 is on the function. So we have a point A, which is 1, 6. Now since it is odd function, we should have another point B, which will be mirror image, right? So, so what do you expect? If at one, let's say this is one, we have some point here, one, six. In that case, for minus one, we should have minus six. You get my idea, right? So minus one should give me minus six. So that is implied. So what we'll assume, looking into these conditions, is that we let this be one for us. So we do have a point, okay? And at minus one, we'll have another point here, which will be minus one, minus six. So that is the combination of uh, these two, an odd function. You get an idea. So the whole thing is you have to understand the basic concept. So we can treat this as our turning points. Okay, that'll be easy to make this function. Now degree five means, let's look into uh, multiplicity, right? So we have degree five. Degree five means multiplicity. So let's call this point as minus two and this as two to graph it. So we'll keep this linear. So we'll have a, a multiplicity. Of zeros. So we'll have a linear. And then we'll have degree two. So we have quadratic and then again we'll have linear. So we'll have linear at these points. That means the graph will actually just cross these, but turn at this point, right? So uh, we need five. So, so one, two, three, four. No, this will be uh, degree three, order three, three. Multiplicity will be three. So it has to go kind of like this. So one, three, means four and then one five so it'll come down so that will meet all the criteria so i hope that makes sense right so let's connect these points to sketch our graph so basically here we are turning like a cubic function is it okay and then we are turning back here we're turning from here so let's join these points so it could be kind of like this you turn from here go like a cubic function turn from there and come down, go towards negative infinity. It does make sense to you. So what we have here is, you could write the equation for this function actually. So you could write this as y equals two, a times, we are not calculating the value of a, a times x plus two. That is my linear, this is cubic, which is x cubed times x minus 2, right? So now you can see the degree is 5. Perfect. So that is how you have to sketch your function. So I hope all the steps are absolutely clear. Okay. Now let's move on and take the last question, which is we need to find equation of a degree 9 polynomial. Okay. So let's look into zeros. In this graph, we have zero at x equals to minus three. This is at minus two. That one is at zero. And the last one here is at one. Now let's write down their multiplicity. Okay, so the multiplicity for this has to be linear. So it is order one, we can say, right? At minus two, 
Since we want to make it 9, we know this is 1 and the last one is also 1. Here we could have 2 or 4, here we could have 3 or 5. So we have a combination here. So let's keep, uh, we could keep this as, uh, as 5 and let's keep this as 2. So when you add these, what do you get? 1, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1, 9. So total we get uh, 9 degree. Does make sense. So we could write the function f of x as equals to a times x plus 3 times x plus 2 to the power of, we are saying order is 5. And here we have x squared times x minus 1. So that becomes the function. Now to find the value of a, we have to use the point given to us minus 1 minus 4. So we are given a point minus 1 minus 4, y value being minus 4. So we will write minus 4 equals to a times minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 square minus 1 minus 1, right? So we have minus 4 equals to a times 3 minus 1 is 2. Uh, this is 1 to the power of 5, so it is 1 to the power of 5. Minus 1 square is just 1 and this is minus 2. Okay, so we get minus 4 equals 2. 2 times 2 is 4 with a negative sign, minus 4a. So that gives me a equals to 1. So a is 1 and therefore the function f of x can be written as x plus 3 times x plus 2 to the power of 5 x squared x minus 1, right? Now it is always a good practice to write in proper order which I will say will rearrange, right? So highest degree first, so we'll write x plus 2 to the power of 5, then we'll write x squared, then we'll write x plus 3, and then we'll write x minus 1, correct? So, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, their orders being 5, 2, 1, and 1. That makes it 9. The value of A we found as 1. Okay. Some of you who may forget to calculate A will also get the same result. But if you don't show this calculation, you may lose marks, right? Since we are given a specific point here. So I hope that makes sense. So the idea of these three examples was to understand how to graph and answer questions based on characteristics and graphs of polynomials. So we kind of reviewed concepts on zeros, their multiplicity, how to get equation from the graph, given conditions, how to sketch, right? So these are important things to remember. We'll have a multiple choice test for you. I'll provide a link on that to review the concepts learned in this particular unit. Thanks for watching and all the best.